Welcome everyone to Journalist with Just Commentary. So we're going to react to a video. We're jumping right into it. This one is World War One Over Simplified Part Two, of course. Thank you so very much for your question. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to a video, leave a comment below. Of course, in Part One, we saw where there was a bit of war going on between German and the surrounding country, Russia, and of course Britain was scared to come in and so on and so forth. But it was very interesting learning about this first Part One World War One. Now we're going to check out Part Two. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. The Part Two. World War One. Both sides fight. stuck in a hard stalemate. Hmm. They knew this war wasn't going to be about taking territory, but uh -huh. about simply wearing each other down. Ooh. The Allies had plenty of men to expend from its overseas dominions, and the British also started a naval blockade, so Germany wow. couldn't import stuff hmm. like food. Neither side really wanted a long, grueling war, though, so they both thought of ways to Look break the deadlock like on the fighting. Western Front. Idea number one: new frontier. When the war first broke out, Australia oh. was quick to take German New Guinea. Oh boy. The Allies also quickly jumped on Germany's colonies in Ooh. Africa, and particularly in German East Africa, locals were enlisted. Germans were right in East Africa? Sides, leading to a tragic loss of life for the native Africans. Some of the combatants entered the war as well. The what? Allies I did not know that. Japan. Japan was busy building itself an empire, so it was more than happy to take away German islands and colonies in East Asia. Wow. Italy actually had an alliance with Germany and Austria-Hungary before the war. But after some tense relations, Ooh, and the Allies promising to give them some of Austria Hungary's stuff, they switched sides. Oh boy. Italy Just like that. Front in the mountains here, but like everyone else, they were stuck oh, in the Oh shoot, fighting again! The Central Powers' new friend was a struggling empire. You know how much money they spend the for this? The Ottoman <laughs> were divided <laughs> on whether to actually <laughs> join the war or not, since they, they don't look like they are. by the recent Balkan Wars. Ooh. Some of the politicians who did want to join went off on their own and fired some shells at Russia. Politicians went on their own? back and said, whoops, looks like we're at war now. Oh boy. The Ottoman entry into the war was of particular concern to the British, since the Middle East was full of oil, and Britain mm. did all of that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What did I tell you all? Russia in the Caucasus Mountains, but they weren't prepared for the cold, and many oh. of them froze to death. Then they crossed the miles of desert to take the Suez Canal from the British. But that failed too. Oh. Then the Allies tried to take the Dardanelles at Gallipoli in a long and hard trench warfare campaign, but that also failed. Damn. The Ottomans blamed their initial losses on the ethnic Armenians living within Ottoman territory, really? and the resulting Armenian genocide led to the deaths of one and a half million people. Then what? The Germans sent spies into Afghanistan to try to convince the Arab tribes there to rise up and jihad ah, against look, look the British look and attack India. But that plan failed, partly because look at the spies it. got bored, brewed their own alcohol, and got drunk, oh. which is a bad thing to do in Afghanistan. Ooh. All these new frontiers hadn't done much to change the war. Aware that the Allies had more men and supplies than that them, is amazing. Germany, they had to do something to break the stalemate. Before the war, there was a big conference that set out the rules of modern warfare. Uh -huh. No Let's chemical say. weapons, uh -huh. no killing civilians. Uh -huh. Basically, don't be jerks. Oh boy. The Germans held a meeting and decided to be jerks. Oh boy. Zeppelin air raids commenced over British cities. No way. They also started attacking the Allied trenches with chlorine gas, and they used submarines to sink civilian ships. Cheers, man! This one one such civilian ship was the Lusitania. Looks like a Titanic. 59 Americans on board when it was sunk, further swaying U.S. opinion against the Germans. Oh boy! Not to be completely unfair to the Germans, the Allies also engaged in chemical warfare soon after, and they had been hiding anti-submarine weapons. Remember the chemical war um, weapon that hurt um, Hitler? I remember it was mentioned. Meanwhile, Austria-Hungary still hadn't dealt with Serbia, so the Central Powers enlisted some help. How many people keep up, keep up with all this fighting? Was bigger and was still bitter about losing the Second Balkan War. The Central Powers promised to make all of Bulgaria Another. all dreams come true if they helped, so they signed on, and together they knocked out Serbia. Oh. The Serbian troops retreated through Albania, which was neutral but had some ties to Austria-Hungary. Wow. So Austria-Hungary entered Albania in a friendly invasion to chase down the Serbians, many of whom escaped by sea. Oi. It's 1916, hmm. and a lot is happening. As if they didn't have enough enemies already, yeah. Germany added one more to the Ooh. list. Portugal had been getting a bit chummy with the Allies behind oh the scenes, boy. and Germany didn't like that one bit. Around the same time, the only sea battle of the war happened. Both sides had a new powerful class wow. of battleships called Dreadnoughts, but they Dreadnought. were so expensive to build that neither side Duh. wanted to risk losing them in a battle. So Aww. they kept them in port, except for one time when they had a big fight and a bunch of them got damaged. Oh gosh. So they didn't try that again. No, no, no. So why do you have it in first place? For good looks then. So they had plenty of reserves, which is just as well because the Western Front was about to get brutal. The Whoa. longest and one of the bloodiest battles of the war started when the Germans launched an attack around the French city of Verdun. The French defended it desperately, leading to Hundreds of thousands of Yo, casualties. these people were just pressure, fighting them. The and if you notice, most of the flags are almost similar to each other. So the British started their own long and brutal fight, the Battle of the Somme, with 60,000 British wow. casualties on just the first day. It was also here that the British wow. first used one crazy eh. brand new piece of sci-fi. That's a technology. unique tank. 
The Russians had been getting pushed back further and further into their own territory, but in response to the French call for help, they began a huge offensive oh. and did really well until they ran out of supplies and got stuck. Oh, Seeing how well the Russians had been doing, Romania decided now would be a great time to jump in and win the war. And then they got Oh down. my gosh, I might just keep and jumping in and out. themselves about whether to join the war or not. The king liked the central powers while the prime minister wanted to join the allies. Hmm. After a brief national <laughs> schism during which the country split into two, oh, the king finally abdicated and the country reunited. Oh. With allied help, they began a new offensive. In the Middle East, Russia was pushing into Ottoman territory oh, from boy. the north. The British had also made a landing in Mesopotamia to protect Persia's oil fields. Oh. And they had also sent a small army up the Tigris River to try to take Baghdad. Uh. The army got sieged in the town oh, of along the way the and eventually surrendered. A new offensive was launched from the south with all out The offensive was aided by one famous British officer, better known as Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, he the looked Arab almost American. Didn't call it havoc on the Ottoman supply line. Oh, by boy. the time 1917 rolled around, everyone was exhausted. There were you have to in be. The French army, the German populace was starving, and the war had drained all of Russia's supplies. But what's wrong with human beings? Why do we do that? War. The only question now was who was going to break first. Shh. And the answer was Russia. Tired oh of boy. Not eating and mad that a crazy magic homeless guy was calling some of the shots. There was an uprising in Petrograd Ooh, complete with riots Putin. and strikes. Rask, the riots turned Rask into a full Putin. scale revolution and a new government overthrew the Tsar. Oh then a few boy. months later, the Bolsheviks overthrew the new government. And they pulled <laughs> Russia out of the war. Wow. That was, was good, I guess. Germany, who now only had to focus on the Western Front. Wow. But there was still one problem. The pesky United States of America oh, was boy. looking increasingly like it was going to join the war. Oh boy. America had been selling supplies to the Allies throughout the war and was getting super rich off the back of it. Oh, it was a oh the American and um, the um, opportunists. So Germany <laughs> telegram to Mexico saying, wouldn't it be crazy cool if you guys attacked America? But the British intercepted the message, showed it to the Americans, oh, boy. and that was the final straw. American Shots. troops began shipping out to Europe. Oh. This was terrible news for Germany. Oh my gosh! The you were serious? And the UK to surrender before the fresh American troops arrived. It was now or never, so they started one final attack. They converged their troops mm. and hit hard at the Somme and pushed the Allies back. They Whoa. hit a second time for the north, Ooh. and again, Boom. And again. <laughs> With each hit, the Germans were spending more and more resources, while the Allies were getting better and better at repelling their attacks. Wow. By the fifth punch, the Allies held the line and even pushed back. With American troops now arriving in larger numbers, Shoot. the Allies launched a counterattack, and that was it. Uh. The Central powers were being pushed back on all fronts. Ooh. Bulgaria collapsed first, followed by the Ottoman Empire, then Austria-Hungary, and finally on November 11, 1918, at 11 o'clock, Germany surrendered. Wow. At the peace treaty, Germany was forced to reduce its military, accept war guilt, and pay the bill for the war. After indescribable <sighs> suffering and millions dead, the world learned its lesson million? and never such an awful war again for about 20 years 17 million people died Jeez, we so basically it's a good thing that America um, came on board because they prevented further death Germany was just not giving up but it was very, I find that was very interesting that um, Germany sent information to Mexico and that Mexico um, the British intercepted and got that information, showed it to the US and that's, that was amazing. So it showed that the US did not really want to join in. They only decided to join in because they felt to themselves, okay, well, um, German no, Germany no want to almost get them in the war or to destroy them. So they had to take care of Germany along with the other countries. That's a very interesting part at the end there. Thank you so very much for requesting it. Likely in this information that you guys are requesting. I'm getting a lot of video requests for the wars and the history of the world and I'm very interested in it because, you know, this is our world and we need to understand how things came into part or how things happened that we are here right now, okay? Thank you so very much for your question. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to your video, of course, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys. I love beauty. I love splendor. I'll do all so sweet and fair. Almost surely. Gaze in wonder at thy gifts so rich and rare. Rivers, valleys, hills and mountains, all these gifts we do extol. Healthy land so like all fountains Giving cheer that warms the soul Dominica
Thank you.